Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 721. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 715 to 721. Hey, we got a trick here. Here's some uh, values entered as text. We have 0645, 0212, but really they should be times. It should be 645, 212, uh, 1520. So we need to somehow insert. Uh, or convert these to time somehow. Now there's lots of ways we could do this. And I saw a post at the Mr. Excel message board uh, and Barry Houdini pulled out his, his magic touch with just an amazing trick. Now the trick is going to involve the text function and using custom number formatting. Now you know I read custom number formatting help and uh, know a lot of tricks with it but man he pulled one out of the hat backslash backslash allows you when you're do using custom number formatting to insert a single bit of text and then he's going to use it uh, backslash colon it will insert it right there and right there it'll look like a time and then we'll do a, a uh, slight calculation and convert it to a time now let's just go to help I'm going to hit F1 and I'm going to type uh, custom number format uh, create or delete custom. I remember a time years ago when we typed something like this in and it wouldn't come up at the top. You know, and you'd have to go to Google, but I think help has gotten a lot better over the last uh, few versions. Now, if you've never sat down and read custom number format, there's just amazing things all the way through. Uh, just pages and pages of amazing things you can do. But right at the top, I, I saw Barry Houdini's post and I guess we just couldn't imagine what it was and sure enough right here near the top guidelines for including text and adding spaces I've always put uh, text in quotes right but if you have a single character you can use a backslash so let's go ahead and see how this works equals text now text we're gonna say hey this and the text function will format it with a uh, custom number format. Now when you use custom number format you have to use double quotes and we're going to use a zero which just says if there's we want a single digit uh, it'll get rid of the eight the zero there for example and just show us the eight and then a backslash because I want to insert a colon. Now as soon as custom number format sees a colon it thinks of it as time. So what this is doing is taking this number inserting that and I'm going to end double quote. And we'll just take a look at what this does. Now, this isn't normal time format. Time format, you use our uh, H's and M's and uh, S's for seconds. So this is kind of strange. This is the normal uh, custom number format we use for a single digit. Let's just see what happens, what this is going to do. F9. Sure enough, it gives us 645. Now, Control Z, you could put anything here, right? You could put a T, F9, and it would put, it would insert. It would take this and insert it. Control Z. In fact, uh, I don't want. I want the colon. Now, this is going to do something strange because there's text here, so it's sucking the text number format. So I'm going to Control One and apply General. Click OK, and then I'm going to uh, enter and Control Enter. Now it gives us 645, but that's so. So what I did there, let me Control Z. I got rid of the text number format that it was sucking from here. I hit uh, General, but it didn't apply until I re-entered it. We also could have used text to column, but so I entered this, and now we see 645. But notice it's a line to the left, which means it thinks it's text, but no problem. Any operation on a number that is stored as text converts it back to a number. So we can simply add 0. Now it gives us the decimal, which is the exact time value we want. Double click and send it down. Now we format it as time control 1, time, and there we have our 645, or whatever time you want. Right, like right here, and sure enough, and you could apply whatever if you want. You know, this time format, then this is not uh, 15; it's 320. Just an incredible trick uh, from Buried Houdini at the Mr. Excel message board. All right, see you next trick.